Bonjour, good morning. This is uh, Friday, the 21st of May, 2021. It's actually now 12.21, so technically good afternoon. I do apologise, but you never know what I'm not inside. <laughs> right, I went and bought two boxes. I've cut out a triple or potentially quadruple hole there, ready. Um, up here, and there, all the LEDs have been ran. I'm not going to show you because I want to show you all when it's all lit up in another video, just because. Um, this room, same again. Can I reach? So there, let, me, let me get the extender on. So there, as you can see, is all the cabling done. So that's all been drilled through and sent up. Um, unfortunately, Roy, Roy the man, Roy the legend, he was going to be here today um, to help me get all the lights done in here and everything, but um, Will baron has gone on his van. I offered to pick him up, but he didn't want to come without all of his kit, which is totally understandable. Not a problem. So um, that'll be getting done in the, one of the next videos. Um, so I've had to incorporate this light because it's a bit gloomy in here until we get the lighting. Right, confession time. I bought, built this stud wall the last time I was here. Very well engineered, extremely strong structurally. I was uh, really proud of it. It was only afterwards that I realised my um, up up. I mean, um, so basically what I did is all the other walls got 150mm um, cavity. So it's got 50mm cell text and the wood's 100mm, so it's 150mm. So I was very focused on doing that, getting it all plumb. The wood was, you know, I'm saying the wood was bowed far from it. It was quite good, but obviously it's not easy working with the shit French wood. So I was making sure everything was nice and plumb concentrating on that and I wasn't really focused on anything else apart from that. Anyway, I did it, got that bad boy out, started to frame it all out and then my brain went, oh, wait a minute, the last one we fitted, you needed about 130, 140 mil, which is, um, there's only 100 mil cavity, bollocks. And I was like, oh, what have I done? So I undenied about it. Now, I could have cut the cell text behind here, just this little section from here to here, cut it back, and then it would have slotted in quite nicely, no problem. But then you would have had potentially a bit of cold air hitting the back of that with the potential of a condensation, which just basically means long term, there'll probably be a little bit of black mold growing behind it. You'd never see it, it'd all be behind the tiles, and we'd never know, but I don't want to behave like that. Um, I want to do it all very professionally, like I would for my own and for other clients. So um, what I've done, is um, we had this wood left over from when we built the roof. It's just been lying around. So <laughs> some leftover plasterboard scraps screwed and then some 20 mil um, wood over the top of that. Now has allowed us, that's flush. And we now have a nice little air gap down there. We've kept the insulation integrity there. Um, we've resolved the fuck up with minimal cost. It's literally just taking me, you know, no more than an hour for my own um, screw up. I confess it, I like confessing that when I do things wrong because uh, it shows you know, shows you the man who you are. <laughs> right, anyway, so this recess, I've ummed and about this recess. That was done originally just so obviously it, it worked out for the stud work and then my plan was, was to shrink it down to suit tile size. Now what I've actually decided, I'm just gonna keep it that size. Now there's no reason for that whatsoever other than the fact that it's all framed out it requires no extra work. I can just board it, tank it, it's done. Now, you imagine when you're in the bath, you can have a multitude of shampoos, soaps, children's toys, obviously I, I do have a child. Um, so I thought that's just a really, really good size. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly board it out. So um, watch the magic. Xavier kindly gave me this sheet of plasterboard because it was snapped, see, along there, it was snapped. So when I bought those other two and I couldn't buy three, he gave me that one instead, which is very nice. So I think that will pretty much do that whole area. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've just positioned the board. I've just done a cut. Okay, now this OSB board backs onto the plasterboard that's in the room. Now, 
do I keep the depth here or do I frame this out and then there's no risk of puncturing through? I think I've got some metal work. Do you know what? For the sake of it, I'm just going to quickly frame it out so we come back when it's framed out. Okay, there you go. As if by a miracle, it's been metaled. Like I said, that's just to make sure I don't mess that wall up on the other side. Uh, I did just go to put some insulation in it, but is it worth it? Once it's tiled with the extra board and plaster on either side of that air gap. Might be a bit of a noise, but who cares? I'm Pat Caring. So we get this house done. <laughs> Sick of me. Okay, as you can see, that's that done. Um, let's think of another job to do. Um, so, yeah, that's been um, first coat of tanking and all the tape's been put on that. Um, I've been slowly working towards getting this utility room done. So, it's literally just ready for its final coat of plaster on the taping and jointing. Um, same as always, you won't really notice me doing it. Um, this manifold's getting dropped down a little bit lower at a later date, so I've just removed the shelf, so I'll quickly fill these holes, and then we're gonna paint it, but you won't see that happen because um, I'm just gonna crack on with it. I've got a bit of wood left lying around from when I built that stud wall, so I might get this, because we're gonna have another toilet here. So I'm gonna probably brace all this out with wood as well, because this won't take it, it's no good. There's lots to do, I'm not very motivated. <laughs> right, it's Saturday, 22nd of the day after that last video clip. Um, towards the end of the day, I had second wind as they call it, you know, I was motivated. So uh, a few materials left on site. So the leftover wood from the other bathroom job made sense to just use it up and get it out of the way. So obviously it's gonna be another wall hung toilet, so it needs to be structurally strong. So this has all been bolted to the floor, fixed to all the window frames. So same again, very, very rigid. Um, I've now just got all the kit out. So I'm just gonna build the frame up so then I can set that stud there exactly where it needs to be. So yeah, let's get this built up quickly. Movie magic, right, that's that built up. Frames all been checked. Nice, snug fit. Obviously, because I haven't sell Texas when there's the air gap down there, so what I do is once we piped it all in, it's checked it all, we're going to get this all nicely insulated, a bit of insulation behind the back. So, yeah, we can leave that now. Obviously, I'm, basically what happened was I had the money to pay for the heating engineer to come and he was going to first fix all the plumbing and sort out the first stage of the heating system. But um, the tiles, the travertine floor tiles, 
that deal was going through so because the money was in place I've just spent it on that instead so it's now going to take me a few weeks to save back up the money so um, I'm just basically working and saving up money again and again and again but for the heating engineer so um, hopefully in about a month or two's time we should have um, plenty of plumbing works going on in here which would be lovely right um, I've got to do some sanding in the utility room and um, a few other little bits and pieces so yeah we'll see what we do next hello right it's um, Wednesday May 26th um, I was chatting to a friend the other day because I was around his house paying back a favour because he made the wood for me for the TV trim and the ceiling trim in the master bedroom. So I said I'd sort some work out for him which involved painting and I was saying to him about this undercoat paint, that um, cheap Seuss Cooch stuff. I said, it's really good. I said, paint's on really well. I said, it's opaque. I said, so it's clear to start off with and goes white, blah, blah. And I was just chatting away and I suddenly went, actually, that sounds like the answer to my problem. So I bought this paint. It was 22 quid a tin on the stockage charge. It sells for like 50, 60 euros, so you'd assume it was a good paint. Well, it was all right, the coverage was good, but it left horrible bloody lines everywhere. Like, you know, it looked crap. I was really pissed off when I, when I finished it. And I just didn't really know what to do. So I got my sander out, 400 grit, and I just went over the whole lot. It just gave this real fat, um, flat white finish. But obviously you could see a few scuff marks, there was dust all over it, and I just, I don't know. I was sick of it, you know I hate painting, so I just left it. Anyway, after that revelation chatting to Craig, I was like, oh, I'll go over it again. So, literally, what I've done is I've just got this out, gone over everything, and it's come up really, really good, I believe it or not. It's a slightly darker shade of white than what was there originally, but that doesn't really matter, because white is white at the end of the day. I've got one final patch to do, which is this little bit here. So, I've asked for a helper to turn up. Oh, hi Sky, how are you? I've heard you're gonna do some painting for me. Is that right? You're gonna do some painting? Yeah? Come on then. Look, I've left a bit here just for you to paint. Okay, yeah, ready? Daddy's gonna load it up for you. Okay, do you wanna take the handle? And there you go, if you put it on the wall. It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy, isn't it? Ready? Now hold it like that and we'll paint. Go on then. Go on then, you got it? Good job. Keep it off the floor. And again. And up. Yay, good girl, well done. I do it on my Oh, okay. Independent woman. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's a bit heavy, isn't it? Oh. You okay? We'll pretend she didn't get white paint on her uh, brand nice new brand new trousers. You want to have a go on this one? Okay, get paint on your hands as well. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Mummy hates daddy. <laughs> Do you want to dip it in a bit more paint, Sky? Okay. Dip it in some shapes. Yeah, just like we do at home, eh? Mm. Yay! Good girl. I put paint on my hand. No, not on your hand. This isn't f um, paint like we have at home. You're doing a... Yeah, you're doing a good job. Look, now Daddy roll this in. Look. I saved this bit just for you. Yeah? Yeah. That house. Yeah, we're going to paint the whole house with this paint. Yeah. Right, you finished? No. Nope. Do I want to start painting? I'll start painting again, yeah. I'm just filming you. Oh, what a good girl. But I get my hands dirty. No, because it's paint that doesn't come off very well, does it? Yeah, this is a much quality paint rather than the water-based paint that we use. Yay! Right, say goodbye to the camera. Bye! <laughs> okay, it's the next day. It's Thursday. I don't know, 27th, whatever. Um, okay, so I 
did the first coat of um, paint in this utility room area with the undercoat paint. Um, it, this is going to have a unit along here, so it'll be 600. So what I've done is I halved that amount, which randomly worked out at 600 as well. So I've pinged my line. I've now divided that measurement by three to give us two equal holes centered of the center. So I'm gonna mark that and drill it ready and hopefully it won't land on any of the metal work and that will be lovely and that'll be where the spots will be going in this room. What we'll do is we'll fit some bright whites in here and that should be more than enough to illuminate this little area which would be nice. Roy's gonna be here today, yay! So he's gonna get um, the lighting done in this room the bathroom, finish off all the sockets, we're going to get the LEDs all what, plugged in as well and get all lit up, so that'd be really nice, so there's going to be plenty going on. Um, my GoPro charging lead, I think I've left it John and Coco's and I'm nearly flat on this battery, so we're going to probably swap over to the phone, and because you're such a fan of Roy, it's going to be a Roy special, so um, we're going to get Roy involved. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to end this little video here and we'll see you in the next one.